Hello, welcome to another module in this massive open online course. So, we are looking at the D DTFT, the discrete time Fourier transform uh, for the analysis of discrete time signals and systems. And in this module, uh, we will look at the DTFT for the analysis of discrete time LTI systems. Okay? So, we intend to discuss the DTFT application of the DTFT for uh, or discrete time in particular uh, we would like to uh, look at it in terms of the frequency response of these discrete time LTI systems. Okay, what is the frequency response? Okay. So, consider a discrete time LTI system with impulse response given by H n Okay. So, the input to this LTI system is x n, output is y n okay. and h n denotes the impulse response of this system. It denotes the impulse response of this system and the input output relationship therefore, so this is your LTI system. Okay. The discrete time LTI system with input given by x n, output given by y n. Okay. H n denotes the discrete time impulse response of this LTI system. Okay. And now naturally we know that the output y n is given as the convolution of x n times h n or x n is the input, h n is the impulse response. But now, taking the DTFT discrete time Fourier transform, we have y omega equals x omega times h omega, which implies as usual the transfer function h omega equals y omega divided by x omega, this is the transfer function. Okay. There is a frequency response of the LTI system or the transfer function. frequency response of the transfer function. And uh, now, uh, what happens if x n is periodic? Now, let us say x n, the input signal is periodic. In that case, how do you obtain y n uh, given the impulse response? That is given the given h of omega. Now, first observe that if x n is a complex exponential, if x n equals e raise to j omega naught n, okay, now the output y n equals h n convolved with x n. Okay which is basically equal to or which equals the summation of k equals minus infinity to infinity h 
h k e raised to j omega naught n minus k which is summation k equals minus infinity to infinity h k e raised to j omega naught n e raised to j omega naught k. Now, this e raised to j omega naught n which is common I take that outside. So, that becomes e raised to j omega naught n summation k equals minus infinity to infinity h k e raised to minus j omega naught k which is simply h of omega naught that is the d t of t at omega naught that is summation h k e raised to minus j omega naught k. So, the output is simply given as a is simply given as h of for the complex exponential at frequency omega naught ok. The output is simply h of omega naught times e raised to j omega naught n. So, y n so we have and this is interesting and uh, we have already seen this. So, if x n is e raised to j omega naught n, then the output signal y n is simply a multiple scaled version of the input signal e h, h omega naught times e raised to j omega naught n and therefore, this is also known as the Eigen function okay, or the Eigen signal. this is the Eigen function of this LTI system because the output is simply a scaled version of scalar multiple times the input. Okay. Now, if x n is periodic then we realize that x n can be expressed as a discrete Fourier series. Then we have x n equal to summation k equal to 0 to n naught minus 1 c k e raised to j k omega naught n where omega naught equals 2 pi over n naught ok this is c k e raised to j. So, what is this? This is basically your discrete Fourier series. and this omega naught is basically the fundamental frequency. Okay. So, it is expressed as a multiple it is expressed as a sum of the complex exponential at the fundamental frequency and its harmonics okay, k equal to 0 to n naught minus 1 this is the discrete Fourier series. Okay. Now, from linearity now we know that corresponding to each e raised to j k omega naught n the output of the LTI system is simply h of k omega naught times e raise to j k omega naught n. Okay. So, for each e raise to input k omega naught n. Okay. Now, the corresponding output we have seen equals h of k omega naught times e raise to j k omega naught n, which implies for input of c k times e raise to j omega naught n gives the corresponding output c k. So, the input is scaled by linearity output is also scaled I am sorry this has to be k omega naught n and therefore, if input is x n equals summation k equal to 0 to n naught n minus k equal to 0 to n naught minus 1 c 
टी के ई रेस टू जे के ओमेगा नॉट एन द आउटपुट बाई लीनियरिटी फ्रॉम लीनियरिटी आउटपुट इज सिंपली द आउटपुट इज के इक्वल टू जीरो टू एन नॉट माइनस वन सी के एच ऑफ क्यू ओमेगा नॉट ई रेस टू जे के ओमेगा नॉट एन ओके सो दिस इज द करस्पॉन्डिंग okay so this is your output to the periodic signal x okay so this is output for periodic signal x and with period n not equals 2 pi by omega naught all right you can see that the input is periodic the output is also uh, the output is also basically periodic okay all right and uh, finally for lti systems characterized by difference equations let us now look at similar to what we have seen before discrete time lti systems characterized characterized by difference equations okay we have summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 let's say the difference equation is summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 y of n minus k equals summation k equal to 0 uh, oh sorry k equal to 0 to n equals summation k equal to 0 to m b k x n minus k this is the difference equation okay this is the difference equation now taking the dtft what we have is summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 a k y omega the dtft of y n minus k is y omega e raise to minus j k omega that must be equal to summation k equal to 0 to m b k x of omega e raise to minus j k omega which means now taking the y of omega common on the left i have y of omega summation k equal to 0 to n a k e raise to minus j k omega equals taking x of omega common on the right x omega k equal to 0 to m b k e raise to minus k omega which means h of omega equals y omega by x omega equal summation k equal to 0 to m b k e raise to minus j omega divided by summation k equal to 0 to n a k e raise to minus j k omega 
Okay, so that is the transfer function. And taking the inverse DTFT of this gives the impulse response. Okay. Taking the inverse DT of T of this gives the impulse response. All right. So basically, that completes the analysis of the application on the properties of the DTFT that is the discrete time Fourier transform for LTI systems with respect to the transfer function, the output, output for an periodic signal, output for an aperiodic signal and also uh, how to derive the impulse response and the transfer function of a DTA of an LTI system desc described by a constant coefficient difference equation. Alright, so we will stop here and continue in the subsequent module. Thank you very much.